<sighs> hey collective, how y'all doing out there today? Yo, seems like the reading don't want to get out. Alright, well, let's do it. We're gonna make it nice, quick, and to the point. Alright, give us one spirit. Now I do hope everything is going well out there for you guys. Just know that everything is working out and your highest good. Now, I done did a couple of um, pre-shuffles and things. It, do, it really do look like it's working out really well for you guys that have been through this process for some time now. You know, you know let go of those attachments. Then you have those out there that are just beginning this journey. Ooh, y'all. That may need to go a little bit deeper. Detach. Let go. That what no longer serves you. Alright. Now you have the artist coming out here. And we already did the artist. So we don't want the artist again. I want to talk about something else. Know what to do. I don't think it wanted me to use these cards. I think I want to pull. Believe in your own magic for the overall energy. Because I'm going to pull from the um, Manifesting Moonology. One card. I don't know what's going on, y'all. <laughs> like the cards is just don't want to act right. Don't want to come out. change at the bottom of the deck and we are going to pay attention to that with the sword and you have your potential is in this with the throne now this is the overall energy and this is what you need to focus on now I did see in the pre-shuffle some type of opportunity in regards to uh, taking the lead, teacher, was beckoning for somebody to take advantage of. Now this sword does indicate using your voice. Now I had a couple of cards that came out here. Well, let me see. Let me see. In regards to somebody. Uh, being a teacher, taking a lead, making a change, doing something, refusing to see some type of opportunity. Now it says, Step into your power. Your potential is endless. That's what that's lining up with, guys. Now, that is also uh, first quarter moon in Aries, so it's just giving me emperor vibes, leader, teacher, powerful, attaining your throne. Now, it do look like you may wear many hats. Now you have assess the situation. 
Now that might have something to do with this change. And after that is the morning awaits you. Something, some type of opportunity somebody is refusing to take. Now I'm just looking at this and it does look like, you know, um, some type of strong foundation. It looks like some type of... Uh, organization it was giving me like white house vibes or something like that right there it doesn't necessarily have to be that but you know what i'm saying I, I don't know why i thought about washington when i seen that now i'm not saying anybody needs to go in politics or anything like that because i don't believe in that crap you know what i'm saying it just gave me you know that strong foundation essence. Now, it's something that you need to assess in regards to your power. Your potential. Now, you could be an entrepreneur because Aries is here. Now, I think it's this I'm telling you to embrace the flow of life. Now, I'm not sure what that's talking about, but let's see what's going on. What cards can I use, Spirit? I think I'm just going straight to the temple, you know. I think I am. Now you have the Ace of Wands out here. Telling you to step into your power. And this is all about some type of job opportunity. A new beginning. Could be a relationship. Now you have something about fear. What's going on here? Now, it could be about this relationship. Now, this could be a past relationship or, um, something new. Some type of matter of the heart. Justice is here with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, it really does look like fear. Because you have make make the change and the world awaits you with paint the sun back in your sky. It's telling you to focus on the here and now to <laughs> stand up for yourself. Light a fire up under it, stick a pen in it. <laughs> I got all that. Yeah. Embrace the flow of life. This is telling you to come into balance with yourself. Now, I want y'all to understand that everybody, I don't care where you are at in your life, fear does impede upon anybody, everybody, you know? And you just have to counter those fears when they come about. Now, this is some type of job. Listen. Telling you to embrace your power. And I told you, this little thing over here was giving me this kind of essence. Some type of uh, strong foundation. Now, this is some type of organization. Now, you might need to exert your power from traditions. You know, strongholds, government. 
mind, you know, group think, I want to say. Old ways of believing. It could also be a marriage. You know? Because I did have the damsel that came out in the um, discard. In the pre-shuffle. Where is she? Did I stay over there? Where is it? I was up here doing a couple of readings to see how consistent they be. But anyway, it was the damsel. And that was releasing attachments. However, the shadow aspect says waiting on somebody to come and save and rescue you. You know? Sliding right on out the deck is the Ace of Sword on Assess the Situation. This is all about new ideas. Lining right up on whatever this is. Now I'm just looking at the way she's looking and sitting there. She's assessing it. <laughs> but she got the sword. Now you got two swords in between the Hierophant. The ace on one side, the the ace of wands on one side, and the ace of swords on one side. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be anything bad, but I'm just giving you some ideas, and I don't know what everybody's situation is. Tap in and figure out what it is for you, but this does look like some good news, An opportunity. Increase in finances. And it's also telling you to be open-minded. To change. This is the age of discovery. This is the dude that has the Ace of Pentacles. This is going back to school. Learning new things. And I'm telling you. Here go the lover's card. Now this is any type of collaboration. This could be something that you need to assess. A relationship. You may need to make the change. I told you the damsel was there. Holding on to relationships. Trying to control relationships that don't serve you. You know? Some self-reflection need to take place. Somebody is lonely within a relationship, feeling isolated, abandoned, orphaned, but won't get up off the nail. That's for some of y'all. I know everybody ain't in a relationship, but somebody is that need to get up off the nail. Need to do the work on self. That could be in the job, too, if they no longer serve you. You know what I'm saying? It's time to step out and tap into your creativity, trust in your talents. Yeah. You got to do something different if you're expecting different results. time for you to start believing in yourself and the impossible. The impossible is possible. As long as you connect with spirit. And yeah, this is what you need to take a, a look at. Whatever this is. Whatever this relationship is. Telling you to embrace the flow of life. This is telling you to go into hermit mode. And think about it. Now, whatever is it right here. Somebody need to look at it. Look. Confusion. 
need to liberate themselves from it. Look, this is confusion. Need to heal. Need to heal, but refuse to see. But you're about to find out something. For something to come to an end. Now, for a lot of you guys that did the work, you on the right path. This thing. That sun was coming in for you. Jesus' new beginnings. But somebody. I know that I done did it keep coming back out the same way, so this one is really going up. <laughs> and it's like it they've been bombarding the reading. Yeah, with judgment. Need to call judgment on it. Yeah, and that's balance. Whatever you putting out is what you're getting back. And I'm talking about to the universe. If you're telling the universe that you accept half bait relationship, that's just what they're gonna give you. I'm not talking about if you love somebody, they're going to love you back. No, it don't work with that. <laughs> Can't make nobody love you because you love them. Uh-uh. That's their choice. There you go. This is what you need to hold your sword up against this relationship. That's a step into your power. What the king of swords. Not the queen, but the king. <laughs> so that could be a masculine or a feminine. Even if it was the queen. Yeah, somebody need to let go. Or let it go. It's an illusion. Something. For somebody. However, for most of you guys that's stepping in your power doing the thing, that's your magic coming in. They go to King of Pentacles. Right on the Hierophant. Now, somebody might be in it for money. However, I do see that as a good job, job opportunity that's going to bring you in some money. Even if it's just you connecting with spirit. Now, understand that this card goes many ways. You see how many things down there? But somebody is in a relationship for some money. Codependent on what somebody else going to do for them. Even seek out relationships for uh, security. Somebody doing it. I've seen it in the card. Now, it's nothing wrong with wanting to find a mate that's going to uh, be um, financially equal in the relationship, but uh, that's not why you seek out relationships. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. Somebody want them to take care of them. That's what that's on the Ace of Swords. Looking at the King of Pentacles. And that's on the sister situation. Now for you guys that's going out there, that's signing contracts and things of that nature, make sure that you cross your T's, dot your I's, and assess the situation. If it's going to match your value. Is they giving you crumbs? Yeah. 
Yeah, somebody need to liberate this stuff from a situation, though. That's right there on the lovers. There you go. Hermit mode. Go into hermit mode and come up out of confusion. Right here on Embrace the Flow of Life. This stressful. It needs to come to an end. Now, this is fear. You need to have the strength to come up out of that. Your potential is endless. This is the number nine talking about transformation. It needs to happen. That's the number nine. You see it? That's the number nine. This is at the bottom of the deck. Make the change. Do that self-reflection. That's what the Hermit card does. The world awaits you with the number four. Spirit is trying to get your attention to paint the sun back in your sky. Come up off the crossroads. Make a decision to love you. You're the star. Act like you are. Damn, you can't make it up. You're the star. It's time to stand up for yourself. Spirit is trying to get your attention. And that's in any avenue, not just relationships, but intimate relationships. All of them. In a straight up war. Battle. Look like you might win it though. Somebody's gonna win the battle. Look. All that confusion. All that, yeah, the crossroad. Look. What they do? Go in and out, apologizing back and forth. It, 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 yeah. This is somebody from your past. Somebody about to have a light bulb moment. And something about to come to an end. Somebody the high priestess? That's stressed out like that? I need to pay attention to their intuition. Die. Somebody the whole high priestess? That's like that. Here go the King of Cups on the King of uh, Pentacles. Yeah, somebody in love and somebody. <laughs> Woo. Now, I got to see what, say what I see. It could even be a same-sex relationship going on right here. Could be. You got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. That's for some of y'all. Hey, got Mike got a couple of people in. You got the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Mm. Well. Okay. That's three people. But it don't got to be. Yeah, there's three people up there. There's three people right here in the battle. But it is the masculine and feminines up there, so it could be that way too. I don't yeah. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody don't want to commit. Somebody been waiting and waiting for somebody to commit, but they ain't. I don't think they. I, I, 
Somebody else got something else going on. They got something to do with some money. Somebody got some secrets. Somebody doing something strange for change. That's why I'm saying assess the situation. Somebody refusing to see. Somebody's choices. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I hate to say it, but somebody husband, somebody might be on the down low. It could be. But that, listen. Yeah. Like somebody about to find out something because the hermit is shining a light on this relationship. And maybe somebody need to be true to themselves. Because it says embrace the flow of life and judgment and temperance. Confusion. Well, the moon card is on this exchange and this generosity with the sword telling you to assess the situation. Somebody's wearing the mask and I'm just saying something about all these different hats. Yeah. Somebody needs to come clean. Dig of the death card with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is over here. So this King this King and Queen is in a relationship. And it got something to do with money. Somebody holding on to something? Is somebody holding on? I told you it was a three-way party situation going on here. Some type of uh, opportunities that's going on. They, they don't want to let go. Something from their past. They, they can't move on from. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a same sex, but something going on with somebody doing something strange for change in one of these stories. However, I do see something coming to the light in regards to an opportunity. That somebody may need to assess something that you don't know about. Now the Ten of Pentacles is at the end of the deck, and that's with judgment, temperance, and the Ten of Pentacles. And the only thing I see that as, if, if this ain't got nothing to do with you, <laughs> I do see a good outcome in regards to whomever this situation, none of this got anything to do with. If you're just minding your business and doing you, all you need to do is just come about scarcity mindsets 
everything gonna be all right. Stand up for yourself. Yeah, you're moving on, but somebody is, yeah. Somebody doing shushing that they ain't got no business doing. That's for sure. That's for sure. What's the advice? Trust, courage, happiness. Got courage on the right path, dreams, happiness. That's for some of y'all. But every time I see this card right here, it just gave me the feeling that somebody is wound too tight. Now, maybe all of this happened in the past and you found out. But somebody is definitely doing something. Now, I don't understand why we need the past to come up. Read, but it does. Now, you have freedom. Thanks for guidance and worthiness. Now, I do look like... Listen... If you assess the situation and see what you refuse to see, it's going to work out. Might be painful, boo, but anyway, good luck with that, y'all. That's your message, darling.